morning. Will Kane joins us. There were a lot of people at that rally, yet the media is dis good morning. <laughs> yet the media is just dismissing the crowds. I'm not surprised, but uh, they're missing something here. Yeah, I mean, this fight over the size of Donald Trump's crowds has been an ongoing affair. Uh, but they are missing that there is a, a base that will show up for Donald Trump no matter what state he's in, red or blue, no matter what state the weather is in. They'll show up for Donald Trump. And I don't know, Stuart, this is the great mystery. I don't know if that base is growing, but the size of what showed up in Wildwood, New Jersey, suggests that all the efforts, be it lawfare, um, or whatever else designed to fight Donald Trump might be having a backlash effect of actually increasing the popularity of Donald Trump. Yeah, it's quite possible. Trump went after President Biden during that rally. Watch this. The most grossly incompetent man in government, the worst president ever of any country. The whole world is laughing at him. He's a fool. He's not a smart man. He never was. In prime time, he was considered stupid. I talk about him differently now because now the gloves are off. He's a bad guy. He's a moron. And other country leaders who I know, they laugh at him. They can't believe it. You know, well, that is uh, obviously a contrast with President Biden. My question is, does that tough talk, uh, does that resonate? You know, I don't know how it will affect the independent voter. First, let's, let's address this, um, Stuart. I mean, Joe Biden graduated near the bottom of his class at law school. Okay, now he said he graduated top of his class. He's a serial plagiarist who's, plagiarist who's, who's lived the life of Forrest Gump when it comes to politics. I mean, he's an absolute most interesting man in the world. He's done everything there ever is to do, but none of it is true. And... I, I think that Donald Trump's description of Joe Biden is actually accurate. I don't think he's very uh, intelligent. And I think most world leaders are, are, you know, embarrassed of Joe Biden. Now, whether or not Donald Trump taking the gloves off and saying it in such a force, forceful manner wins over independence is something that is, is honestly beyond me. I don't know how the independent responds at this point. I think the independent is ready, is ready to abandon Joe Biden. I think that is true. I think they are ready to vote Donald Trump. I don't know that Donald Trump needs that last sales pitch when they're probably, probably already buyers for Trump. Uh, well, there, there's uh, some reports that some of Biden's top advisors are pushing to change the Democrat National Convention to a hybrid schedule. They're worried that anti-Israel protests could erupt at that convention. Is, is this really because of the protests or are they looking for an excuse to hide President Biden? Which is it? There you go. There you go, Stuart. That's probably, I mean, 2020 was such a success. COVID gave them the perfect background to keep all of Joe Biden's failings away from the public. They could conduct a campaign from the basement. They could do everything via Zoom online. That it is the perfect cover to once again rerun that hit. And by the way, then allow themselves to, you know, reasonably not put Joe Biden in a situation where he fumbles over a teleprompter, fumbles over an acceptance speech, you know they're not going to debate. No matter who, what he tells um, Howard Stern, there's no way Joe Biden is going to debate Donald Trump. Yeah, the protests are a problem. This could look like 68 Chicago once again. But this is a perfect way to, to cover all of the other problems for your campaign. It's hard to keep him in the basement, isn't it? Will Kane, thanks for joining us. We will see you again real soon. Good to see you on a Monday morning.